Hey everybody, it's Matt from Junior Horror Movies, and welcome to a little uh, pickup video. I was just in Salem, Massachusetts with my wife for a couple days. It was a spur of the moment type thing, kind of, you know, I have some time off. She does too. You know what? Let's just go. So we did. Had a good time, you know, got to enjoy some good food, being sitting by the ocean, hitting a couple of our favorite uh, museums and everything. And I figured, well, we got some time to spend. Let's get some goodies so of course my wife went got a whole bunch of good shit for her and i picked up a couple good things i want to show off if you ever thought about going to salem mass highly recommend it i highly recommend going during the off season uh, if you do go in during the on season it's very crowded very busy but it's pretty cool to see a lot of the shit that they do that's around so go like once during the main season just to see how it goes but if you want to go shopping, if you want to just enjoy walking around, go during the off season because <laughs> you can enjoy, you can actually really enjoy it. But anyway, let me show you some of the cool little horror goodies that I picked up in sale. So I did get one shirt. Usually I try to get a shirt, <coughs> and the shirt that I got was from the uh, the Salem Witchboard Museum. That's the back. So the front I thought was pretty badass. Was the whole had to support the museum itself. I kind of like that whole old, old look with the uh, the Ouija board going there. So, yeah. That was my main shirt that I got. <coughs> Alright. Some other little goodies. I did find a cool... Uh, what's it called? These are called Smashers. And, of course, I found the Terrifier Smasher. So, I'll take it out of the bag. You know, it's one of those ones that's foam. You squeeze down, and it comes right back up. He's got the little sunglasses, the blood, you know, everything. So I figured that's pretty cool. I'll add that to the collection. I uh, got some little mini goodies. No, I don't, I don't have to worry about looking at some magic cards. <clears throat> I finally got a chance to visit this one store <coughs> called uh, the House of Boo. And it had a cool little pin. So that's the pin. It's got, you know, Michael Myers, uh, Billy from Saw, Pennywise, and I think that's Freddy Krueger. The pin is kind of weird looking, but that's kind of neat. So that's going on the pin board. So that's the House of Boo. It's got some cool stuff online. Definitely recommend checking it out. I did get uh, some mini stuff. <clears throat> I thought this was kind of cool. It's kind of stupid, but it's a little finger puppet crow. You know, you put your finger on it and be like, hey, look, got a crow. But it'd be kind of neat just to put in the collection, just to have them, you know, stand by watching, watching your collection. There are a couple of horror movies you have to deal with. <clears throat> crows. Like the movie, I think it was called Caw. It's about killer crows. So yeah, that'll fit. And my other little goodie I found was this zipping uh grim reaper it's one of those pull back and it goes uh this one's got the racing reaper and of course i got number 666 <laughs> yeah all different kind of numbers i'm like ah, i gotta get that one looks pretty cool i'll be going right into the uh the shelf there so yeah why not i also found a little creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, it's articulated from Super 7. There's a lot of Super 7 stuff in Salem. So if you ever thought about picking certain things up, <clears throat> there's a lot of stores out there, especially uh, the horror stores like that one. Uh, there's called Harrison's Comics. Uh, they sell a lot. There's a lot of Super 7 uh, memorabilia. But I wanted this one, the Creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, it's got this cool little diorama going. It's got the little green... Not green, but uh, plant life. It's all black and white. Some gray. Kind of hard to see here with the light. But that's the back. There's your top. So yeah, I thought that was kind of neat. <clears throat> Some of the stuff is a little overpriced. But like I said, if you go during the off season, it's a little bit cheaper. And my other figure that I got. I figured since... <clears throat> Sci-Fi Horror Fest is coming up in August. I had to pick up 
because Lloyd Coffin's going to be there. I found the cool um, Trick or Treat Studios Toxic Avenger figure. So I'm going to get this all signed and everything. I love the look. This is the the top, yeah, this is the base off the cartoon that they did, the Toxic Crusaders. Now supposedly Dr. Killamoth is going to be getting a figure next, which is pretty cool. Yeah, this is kind of reminds me of the old uh, Teenage Mutant and Ninja Turtles toy line. It fits that profile of figure-wise, size, articulation, and everything. I kind of want to get myself the original one just to have on the shelf and have this one on like a display. You know, like, even though the corner's kind of bent up there, but you know what? Yeah, this is pretty badass. So you're probably wondering, did you pick up any movies? <laughs> I did. I found uh, one horror film and two anime. <clears throat> it's kind of weird. In the Harrison's there, they actually had a wall of movies and everything. And of course, I gravitate towards that area. I'm looking, 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 and I'm going, man, there's no horror section. Like, I found the thriller. I found the sci-fi. Yeah, the horror section was very tiny. I was like, maybe four or five DVDs, and that was it. So I go, I asked them, I go, do you have any more... Uh, it's just all the movies that you have. They're like, yeah. I'm like, it's the one that you're looking for. I'm like, yeah, I'm looking for the horror section. Do you have any of those? The, any horror movies? They said since up in Salem, those go by so fast. Um, everyone's scooping them up, so our selection is very limited. I'm like, damn. Okay, <laughs> so I will show off the one horror title, which I will be showing off again in my update. Uh, I got to replace the case. The DVD case is kind of mangled but the disc looks fine the artwork looks fine so i picked up uh day x so i think it's like a zombie film if anybody's seen this one let me know again i will show this off in the update of course uh, the other two probably not because they're probably not horror films so if there's any anime uh buffs out there let me know on these two i found like this one for five bucks i think it's a complete uh section collection um, well, there's a couple stickers on there, but actually, that's kind of neat. There's a sticker for Tokyo Kid. I'm trying to think what that is. A uh, protective label. Huh. I have to take a look at that. But the DVD that I picked up is called uh, The Legend of Cristania. I'm probably saying that all wrong. It looks like it's a full movie. When you go look at anime, always look to see if it's part of the series. Because a lot of times, they're episodes. So if you look, pick up, you're like, oh, look at this. And all of a sudden it says, you know, episodes 9, 10, 11, 12. We're like, well, now i got to find the rest. And that's usually the hard part. Because usually, some are very easy. And there's always that one episode or season that's, or section it's always hard to, it's out of print. So I was like, ah. So I try to find the complete ones. Like this one is, I guess, a complete movie. Or it's all, like, different, broken up. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, runs 85 minutes. And this actually has uh, an animated violence in suggested language, blah, 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 blah. But I thought the cover art looked pretty cool. Like that, that fantasy style. So again, if anybody's seen Legend of Cristania, let me know. Again, if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. And the other one I I saw, I looked at it at first, I'm going, all right, is this like a medieval movie? But I saw here, in the two-fisted tradition of Ultraman, okay, right there, I said, I'm picking this up. This was like five bucks. I figured, why not? If this sucks, again, not exactly sure. And that is... Uh, uh, detonator organ, detonator organ, organ. It looks like it's another type of mech kaiju, which I'm all in for. I love my mech uh, uh, films. Again, this is actually in English and Japanese with English subtitles, so that's great. So I can just pop it in the Japanese version because you know, probably the English dubbing is probably going to be real bad. So, of course, i got to watch the dubbing just to see how bad it is. Uh, again, that's the inside with the disc. So, yeah. 
If anybody see this one, guys, let me know. Again, this is like a full movie. <coughs> this says, actually, it says complete series. Contains all three episodes. So I guess this was a very short-lived anime. Usually they're kind of like a an OVA or something. I'm not sure if this is an OVA. But if anybody can let me know on that. But again, all complete the complete series, all on one, great. Because then I can enjoy watching it versus trying to track down DVDs that are out of print or you know you get you get volumes one two four and of course volume three is the insane one you're like fuck <laughs> I hate that so yeah so yeah guys that is it for my pickups from Salem today it was a great little uh endeavor the trip was f fine the weather was beautiful till the way home we got started off with a storm but as soon as I got driving through it it cleared up and it was a beautiful drive so, yeah, if you've ever been down there, definitely check it out. Um, if you're thinking about going, let me know, and I can help you out with certain uh, spots to visit, sp certain, you know, locations. I don't mind helping you out on those. Uh, again, if you ever thought about if you live close and just want to go, do it. It's a great time. Uh, I can go during the off-season. Um, you'll have a good time, like I said, on the on-season. Watch, I think there's videos online and pictures online how packed it is during the on season, especially during like October. It's insane. You're actually waiting in line to get into a store. Yeah, that's how crazy it is. But there's a lot of cool shit happening. Again, experience them once for that. But if you want to keep going, go during the off season. It's a lot calmer, a lot quieter. Uh, you can actually enjoy more walking around too, which is great. So yeah, guys. That's it for my little spiel on Salem. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the pickups here that I showed off. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on these. Uh, if you, again, if you finished this video, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you haven't, please like and subscribe. It helps me out. And yeah, guys, stay safe and stay tuned for some more videos. I'll be definitely posting some in a little bit. All right, later. Peace.